Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chakodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son. Yahweh meaning He is, He exists. Yahweh Shai meaning He delivers, He saves. Bahasham and the Holy Spirit. All right, double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, the well, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and a bubble ball. Back at one the lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Lord willing, this video is edifying. And this is just a, another prayer to add to the repertoire. All right, and so this is a, a prayer asking the Lord to build up our faith, our fear, and our confidence in the spirit. All right. So without further ado, you know, just want to get right into it. Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, meaning he is, he exists. Bahasham, Bahasham is in the name, Ba in Ha the and Shum name. Yahweh Shai, which means he delivers or he saves. That's the name of the only begotten son. All right. Babukusha, Babukusha means please. You can say that three times. Babukusha, Babukusha. Bana, Bana meaning to build. Yara, Ya. Yara is fear, and Ya makes it possessive. So Yara, Ya, my fear. Kaya for Atha, you. Refer to Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. Bana, build. I'm a one ya, my faith. Bana, build. My batachya, my confidence. All right, but Mabatach is confidence, and Yah makes it possessive. I'm a one is faith, and Yah makes it possessive. All right. Ba, in, ha, the, recha, kodash. Recha means spirit, and kodash meaning holy, but in the Hebrew, you put the object before the adjective. Okay. It says, Asha, Aisha is make, Awathia, me. Yakal, Yakal means to endure. Amun, Amun is steadfastly. It can also mean so be true as well, but in this particular instance, steadfastly. Ba in call, call is all. Ith, Ith is time or times. All right, so we want to endure and steadfastly in, at all times or in all times. The water, thanks. Twa, good. Amun, so be true. All right, now, why is this important, man? Why is it important to build up our fear and our faith and our confidence in the spirit? Because these are key components to help keep you in the faith and keep you established and rooted and built up in the Lord. All right, first and foremost, because fear, like the scriptures say, fear is what? The beginning of wisdom. All right. Fear is the beginning of wisdom. All right. Job 28 and 28. And unto, the, unto man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. All right. That's a beautiful precept right there. Psalms 111 and 10. The fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom and good understanding. Have all they that do his commandments, his praise and dearth forever. All right. Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 9 and 10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. All right? The fear of the Lord is an instruction of the wisdom, and before honor is humility. All right? That's the point of that right there. Okay? Let's see. Sirach Ecclesiastes 1 and 14, to fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. Okay? Matter of fact, you know, Sirach got a lot of gems, man. So let's go ahead and read that real quick. I'll start actually from uh, verse 11. Sirach Ecclesiastes 1 and 11. The fear of the Lord is honor and glory and gladness and a crown of rejoicing. The fear of the Lord maketh a merry heart and giveth joy and gladness and a long life. Whoso fear of the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last, and he shall find favor in the day of his death. 
to fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and it was created with the faithful in the womb she hath built an everlasting foundation with men and she shall continue with their seed to fear the Lord is the f is fullness of wisdom and filleth men with her fruits she filleth all their house with things desirable and garners with her increase the fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom making peace and perfect health to flourish both which are the gifts of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and it enlarges their rejoicing that love him. So the fear of the Lord is going to enlarge your rejoicing, man. The root of wisdom, so the beginning, right? Because the root of a plant or the root of a tree is the beginning of that plant, right? It says the root of wisdom is to fear the Lord and the branches that are of our long life. So that's a part of the, the, the fruit from the root, so to speak. Long life. So that's a part of the fruits of wisdom. That's part of the fruits of the fear of the Lord. It tends to you having long life. All right? The fear of the Lord driveth away sins, and where it is present, it turneth away wrath. And that's the thing. We don't want the wrath of the Heavenly Father upon us. We want the blessing and the mercy of the Heavenly Father upon us. And we need to fear Him. See? Now, another thing is faith, right? Faith is important to build up in the Spirit because... Um, you know, that is what's going to help keep us going. All right. Because if you have faith in the Lord, then you, your ways will be pleasing unto him. All right. Because scripture say how it's impossible to please the Lord without faith. All right. It's Deuteronomy 32 and 20. And he said, I will hide my face from them and I will see what their end shall be. For they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. Right. So the Lord's saying he's hiding his face from two-thirds children in whom is no faith, man. We don't want the Lord to hide his face from us, man. All right. This is, um. All right, man. Faith is really just a big thing all around, man. You know, because that is what's pleasing to the heavenly Father, like it tells you in Hebrews 11th chapter. All right, I'll go ahead and just read it. I'm sure, brothers know, but hey, you got some that don't know. Okay, so we're gonna read it. This is Hebrews. Let's go to it. Bear with me, Bob Shaw. Hebrews. I'll read this one first. Hebrews 10 and 38 says, Now the just shall live by faith. So that's why the scripture says, The just shall live by faith. Right? It says, But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Okay? So if we're living by our faith, then we have to hold fast our faith until the end. We have to hold fast our belief. And Yahweh Bashem to the very end, man. All right, and if we draw back, then the Lord is not going to have pleasure in us, man. Which ultimately leads up to what? You getting destroyed, okay? And this is Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Verse 2, for by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed. By the word of Yahweh Bashim so the things which are not seen which are seen were not seen. Sakis. So the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Okay? It says by faith Abel offered up to the most high a uh an excellent sacrifice. Sakia. Offered unto the most high a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. By which he obtained witness that he was righteous, the most high testifying of his gifts, and by it by Saki, by it he being dead yet speaketh, 
by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because the Most High had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased the Most High. Verse 6, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to Yahweh Shemeshach must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right, so without faith it's impossible to please the Lord, man. And we want to be pleasing to the Lord at all times. So in order for us to be pleasing to the Lord, we must have faith in him and fear him. Okay? Um, now, that next one is what? Confidence, man. The fear of the Lord is strong confidence, man. All right, like scripture say. Proverbs 14, 26. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. And that's the thing, man. We want to be confident that the Lord is dealing with us, man. We want to be confident. That Yahweh Shemel Shah is going to protect us, that he's going to sup with us, so on and so forth. You want to have that confidence in the spirit, man, because it's important to have confidence in the spirit because it goes to show you that you have faith in the Lord, that you have uh, uh, security. You know, you trust in the fact that the Lord is with you, man. And that's a big thing, especially during these times that we're coming into because scriptures say what wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And, and, and you know strength is in the fear of the lord is his treasure strength of our salvation roughly paraphrasing isaiah 33 and 6 man so we want to have that wisdom and knowledge to keep us stability and, uh, and steadfast man and that confidence in the lord you know because there'll be times when them demons they're going to want to try you and they're going to want to tell you oh you're not a man of the lord the lord ain't dealing with you and all this other stuff like that and if you don't have that sure confidence if you don't have that fear, if you don't have that faith in your Hashem Shai, them demons can get the best of you, so to speak, man, and then make you doubt. And then when you doubt, guess what? You're going to sink like Peter did when he started to doubt when he was walking on water with the Lord. He started to sink, man. All right. And we don't want to doubt, man. Like the church say, if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him, man. The just shall live by his faith, man. And that and that confidence has a lot to do with our faith, man. All right. So, you know, pretty much it just uh it's just that uh stuff that we wanted to have, you know, through the spirit, little qualities that is important to build up in the spirit, man. All right. It's Ephesians 3 and 12 it says in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. All right. That's right. So confidence and faith have a lot to do with each other, man. All right. This is um. Now, at the same time, you want to understand. Just because you have confidence doesn't mean you have pride. You know, you understand that as well. Okay. And now it says. Now I remember how we said in the prayer to endure at all times, right? This is Hebrews three and six. It says, but as Mashiach, as a son, as a son over his own house, whose house are we? So we'll, we'll be the Lord's temple, right? His house, his church. If we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. So we have to hold fast our confidence steadfast unto the end, man. All right. Hebrews 3 and 14. For we are made partakers of Mashiach. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end, man. We got to hold fast this truth unto the end. Hold fast his confidence in Yahweh Shemashah until the end, man. All right, and what ultimately makes you confident when you fear the Lord? All right, because if you're if you're not fearing the Lord, you don't have faith. You're not gonna have confidence in the Spirit. See, so it all plays together. Hebrews ten and thirty five. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. Yeah, we're not supposed to cast away our confidence in Yahweh Shemashah because that's gonna take away our recompense of reward. All right, that's the point on that right there. Um, uh, this is a uh, John first John three. I'll start at verse 18. It says, my little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed in truth. Yeah. Like they say, actions speak louder than words. So when we show love to the Lord and to the flock, it has to be in deed and in truth, not just by word. All right. 
It says, for our, if our heart condemn us, Yahweh Bashem El Shai is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. Right. Sometimes your mind, they get the best of you. Like they say, my mind's playing tricks on me. You know, sometimes your mind, your flesh, try to make you doubt, make you not think that the Lord ain't dealing with you, so on and so forth. But the Lord is greater than our hearts, man. And the Lord knows all things, man. All right. It says, for if our heart condemned us, the Most High is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. And it says, beloved, if it's like a, beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence towards the Most High. Right. So if you have confidence in the Lord, your heart is not going to be condemning you. Right? When them demons try to throw them little fiery darts, guess what? You throw up the shield of faith and you quench them things and you have that confidence that the Lord is with you, man. Like 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 Judas Maccabees. What did he say? He had ever Let me get that scripture real quick. I think that's uh second Maccabees. In 2 Maccabees 15 and 7, this is, but Maccabeus had ever sure confidence that the Lord would help him. And that's exactly why the Lord did help him. Because he believed that the Lord would. You see? We gotta have, we gotta come in that same spirit. And to be a true warrior, and to be a true, you know, man of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, you need to have that faith, fear, confidence in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, um, and whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments, going back to having faith, I mean in fear, Salakia, and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. All right? That's the point of that right there. You know? It says, and this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, going back to faith. And love one another as he gave us commandment. Going back to the fear of the Lord. Because if you fear the Lord, you're going you're gonna to honor the Lord and you're going to honor your brother and your neighbor. All right. It says, and he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us by the spirit which he hath given us. Right. We know that the Lord is with us because he's what, you know, we have the spirit. We have the Holy Spirit, man. And that's that confidence, man. You know, say, so, hey, Lord willing, this video is edifying. Um, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great Muslims, that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and a Baba